Yeah. Folks, we've got uh, John Yu on the phone right now. Uh, John, uh, of course, uh, Cal, Cal Berkeley law professor, among other things. Uh, just your initial thoughts on this breaking news on the Hunter Biden case? I think it's important that there has to be an indictment because how can you plea bargain? How can you resolve the case unless the hunters be charged? And so that's the first thing. That, in fact, the indictment shows that the original deal was highly suspect and that at least David Weiss is trying to do the job now in a somewhat normal way. Now, what we have to see is what comes after the indictment. What kind of facts are we going to see? What kind of claims, what kind of charges are going to be made? Is there going to be now movement towards a revival of the sweetheart deal that the special counsel tried to offer Hunter Biden before? That's going to be the real test of whether David Weiss is taking his obligation seriously as special counsel. The initial uh, assessment, uh, again, this is breaking news out less than uh, 15 minutes, is, uh, is that this will be focused on the gun charge. Uh, what, what possible changes could be made to the gun charge? Oh, Charles, thanks for uh, updating me on that. I didn't know it was just on the gun charge alone. I mean, if it's only the gun charge, and a lot of the questions that have been raised are still unanswered because... As you know, the serious charges, the places where we need to see more investigation and where the real deal was faulty has to do with the bringing in millions of dollars of income from abroad, not reporting it on taxes, uh, looking to appear to evade you know, financial accounting and reporting. The gun charge is important, but it's, I think, a sideshow, actually, to the really important issues, whether there was influence peddling going on here at the behest of foreign governments were interested in trying to bribe their way into the U.S. government. To that point, uh, Representatives Jordan, uh, Comer, and others are now uh, arguing that the uh, privilege uh, for the Hunter Biden attorneys is, is, is no, no longer in effect, and they would like to hear from them. Your thoughts on that possibly happening? That's interesting. I don't know if that's the best way for the House to get at the information at once. They can certainly call up the attorneys, uh, they, they're probably going to claim the regular attorney client privilege that we all benefit from when we consult attorneys. Uh, the only exception I could think of that might be operative was if the attorneys themselves were involved with Hunter and any kind of criminal conspiracy or collusion. I could see, for example, they might the House investigators might think, what if there was some kind of obstruction of justice in some way, some kind of illegal collusion with the prosecutors. If that's the case, then they may not be able to claim attorney-client privilege. But that is a very hard claim to make out. We'll have to see what they say when they bring them up to testify before Congress in hearings. John, everyone was up in arms about this so-called diversion process. Um, uh, now the, it's, it's at the center of this particular, so far, again, it's, it was really early in the process. But Hunter Biden's team uh, believes that the diversion agreement on the gun charge, they say it's still valid because both parties signed it uh, and they want to move along in that direction. Apparently, with this new, uh, with a new indictment looming, uh, the, the thought is that maybe David Weiss would turn away from that. Just, just your, your thought on, on Weiss and, and, and whether or not this diversion agreement, does it, does, is it still valid after, after the judge threw everything out? problem for the Hunter Biden lawyers and Hunter himself is that the immunity agreement, which is really what they want, they don't care so much about the diversion, right? taking some uh, classes and staying drug in exchange for not being charged with a firearms violation. What they really want is the immunity provision, which was stuck in the diversion agreement, which was to basically let Hunter off for all the financial crimes and tax evasion that he may be responsible for. That should not be in the diversion agreement. It's not clear to me that that would still be binding and because the judge never blessed it. Most plea, all plea bargains have to be approved by a judge. And so if the immunity provision was in the plea agreement because this judge wisely just asked some simple questions to which both sides couldn't answer, I'm not sure why Hunter Biden should be able to get immunity just because of some deal that he made with perhaps a friendly prosecutor that no judge ever right. approved. All right. Uh, hold on one second, John, because I'm going to go back to, uh, to David Spunt, who has more. David. 
Yeah, hey, Charles. So we just got an update from Hunter Biden's team. And when I say we got an update, it means we got a filing on the public court docket. And Hunter Biden's attorney, Abby Lowell, is essentially doing what we expected. Uh, he is moving forward and telling the judge that they are going forward as if the diversion agreement on that uh, federal gun charge uh, is in effect, which would, in fact, uh, keep Hunter Biden out of prison. So to bring everybody up to speed here, several years ago, Hunter Biden was accused uh, and he is still accused of lying on a federal gun form that asked questions about substance abuse, if he was addicted to a controlled substance and whatnot when uh, applying for a gun license. This happened in Delaware. Originally, prosecutors in Delaware, under this blanket plea agreement that fell apart in July, uh, planned to give him this diversion agreement where he would avoid jail time for this. Well, since the plea agreement fell apart in July, special counsel uh, David Weiss is now saying the entire agreement fell apart. Uh, everything is back to the drawing board. We're, we're not, you know, picking out different parts of this where we can where we can move forward and other parts fell by the wayside. This is starting from scratch. However, Abby Lowell, Hunter Biden's attorney, uh, who's here in Washington, is saying that we are going forward and we believe that the uh, diversion agreement is in effect. So two varying points of view, Charles. David, thank you very much. And our thanks to John Yu and Katie Tricasky. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.